What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I really wanted to check out this article that uh, John Moxley he did an interview for Sports Illustrated, and he was talking about uh, his use of blood in wrestling. And I definitely wanted to check this out only because we know John Moxley loves his blood, <laughs> especially in a wrestling sense, like. It, I don't know is ever since he's left wwe he has gotten his fix of bleeding <laughs> down there in every match <laughs> since he's left wwe that is his thing so uh i believe he gave like his explanation on why he feels like you know wrestling should have a lot of blood involved in it well at least in his matches so we're gonna check this out should be an interesting one because i really want to get his thought process of why he feels like every match that he's involved in should involve some type of blood being sprayed everywhere so we're gonna check this out uh see what he has to say appreciate all love and support um and uh let's get right into this one so uh i kind of scrolled through or whatnot because i believe he was talking about a match uh he recently had in new japan uh pro wrestling and uh he was bleeding in that match as well um so i believe i'm gonna start right here the tag bout ended with moxley covered in his own blood foreshadowing his death match against desperado the next day but unlike the tag a uh defeat uh unlike but uh unlike the tag a defeat moxley was victorious in the singles bout and naturally covered in his own blood as we expect with john moxley i have a whole dissertation on my theory about blood in modern wrestling says moxley do we have time for all that so he's about to break it down a resounding affirmative uh, was the response to that inquiry moxley then proceed to offer his reasoning on why blood belongs in pro wrestling considering there's always logic embedded in moxley's storytelling it is no surprise that a hallmark of his uh, philosophy is sound reasoning this is a combat sport moxley says College wrestling is a combat sport too. They have blood timeouts to patch it up. The lowest prelim bout of a UFC card or a boxing card, somebody might have a little blood on their eyebrow or blood coming out of their nose. But they're but they're not selling a blood sport. It's not tune in for the blood, tune in for the gore. It's part of the aesthetics. It had realism. A much shorter answer, Moxley explained, is that he has so much scar tissue on his eyebrows and head that he cuts very easily, sometimes when I don't even want it to, says Moxley. But I only know one speed. That's with my foot on the gas pedal. If we're going to do something, let's effing do it. That can do, uh, be detrimental when it comes to negative things like drugs or alcohol, but that's my mindset. If I'm doing it, I'm doing it. When it comes to blood, it's just going to happen sometimes. Like I said, it's foot to the gas pedal. Some people say this is just a random match. Why is there blood? I hear, I heard that last week versus, uh, I can't even pronounce his name, Tomohiro Ishii. He's one of the greatest of all time. I'm not going to let that moment slip by. I'm going foot to the effing gas pedal. How can I not? Then I hear that I can have a good match without blood. Okay, then you made my argument for me. I'll do it every time. Oh, he said, then I then I hear I can't have a good match without blood. Okay, then you made my argument for me. I'll do it every time. Moxley, Moxley's thesis is that blood will be shed. He backs it up with his solid arguments and willingness to uh, question whether WWE's approach to blood is the correct method. The point of this dissertation is that this is a combat sport says moxley but we're not allowed to have blood in matches uh, in a match unless it's personal it's a personal good grudge we're only allowed to have blood after a five month grudge and someone slept with somebody's wife or somebody ran over somebody with the car and then and only then are we allowed to have this dramatic crimson mask that looks the exact same every single time for me, realism-wise, since this is a combat sport, that means there is a potential for blood in every match. Everything in wrestling is preposterous to some degree, but this helps with the suspension of disbelief. 
I'm actually for less blood more often. If every single match on a card had a busted eyebrow or bloody nose, it would be just part of the sport. But some gory spectacle, spectacle with blood shooting like a hose is pretty unnecessary. We're elbowing each other in the face every single match. We're kicking each other in the face every single match. What are these people made of if they're not bleeding? People ask why is there blood in, a, in the ring every time I leave it? It feels unnatural to go out of my way to make sure no one is bleeding. That feels like I'm taking the foot off the gas pedal. That doesn't interest me. The blood also serves as a match for not just for the crimson variety, yet when looking closely underneath Moxley's blood visage, there is no longer a scowl. Instead, somewhat hidden among the sanguine fluids is a smile. Uh, let's see. Jonathan Good was, uh, has found happiness not only in the ring as John Moxley, a pioneer for AEW, but as a husband and father. Um... And I think that's about it uh, when he talked about his his takes on, you know, how how he views blood in modern wrestling. Now, after reading all that and hearing his his logic behind it, I get what he's saying. I'm not going to outward say Moxley is is losing his mind, you know, doesn't know what he's talking about. I get what he's saying in a sense of if you're out there fighting someone you know, elbowing someone, there should be some type of bruising and there may be some blood. It, it would make sense. But the problem that I think he is kind of, I guess, mistaking it for, it's wrestling. It's professional wrestling. Yes, you're supposed to suspend your disbelief. But at the same time, if you're trying to see, if you're trying to create that realism or whatnot, then you might as well just watch UFC. Because if you watch wrestling, you know it's all a work. For the most part, some of it can be a shoot, but we know it's a work. So it doesn't make sense for guys out there to legitimately be busting themselves open over and over and over, you know what I'm saying, for the sake of a mundane match that most people are not going to remember. I know for a fact back in the day when people actually thought wrestling was real and the storylines were real they weren't bleeding all the time because you didn't need to do that because when you're trying to protect the people that are involved if you want to watch people bleed and break bones and tear ligaments that's what we got ufc for you want to see people get busted open that's what you got boxing for you have those are the combat sports there is some combat elements to professional wrestling but at the same time it's 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 really just a show it's a showcase it, it's all the work you know what i'm saying like i said sometimes there are some shoot elements to give that little bit of realism to make the crowd think wait what's going on here but outside of that you're working with your opponent so i get it they have the matches where it, it can be some stiff shots and i'm okay with matches even having a little bit of color if it's a stiff hard fought match like oh damn they they're really going at it i'm okay with that but i don't think every match should have blood in it and that's where i have to disagree with moxley on that point i don't think every match needs that because it does lose its i guess uniqueness for example i'm filming this before i think this is the week they do blood and guts the match is pretty much what you expect it's going to be blood and carnage. Imagine if blood and guts is announced and you don't see that much blood on AEW television. It would feel like, oh, it's all hell is about to break loose because you don't see the the, the blood and, and the carnage on a week to week basis. So I would believe last week someone was bleeding on the show or the week before last. Like it's. It's literally blood and guts almost all the time. Actually, it was blood. I believe they attacked the elite or whatever. And I think uh, Hangman, he was busted open. Multiple people were busted open. And that's when he announced blood and guts or whatever. So it was like, well, I mean, you kind of take away that extra element of danger for the crowd viewer because you know what to expect with blood and guts. But you get it all the time on the weekly show, if that makes any sense. So it's not the same as if 
If you guys remember back in the day when someone would announce we're having a Hell in a Cell match, oh, you knew competitors were about to bleed. You knew it was about to be a little bit on the extreme side because it was a Hell in a Cell. It makes sense to bleed in that situation because there's going to be weapons used. The cage is going to be used as a weapon. So it made sense. You didn't see it all the time. When you did see it, it was either to further an angle, maybe write somebody off a television, a feud has gotten really personal, weapons gotten involved, or even sometimes maybe it was accidental, but they turn it into an angle. It wasn't a all the time thing. And when you did see it, it, it made you feel something a little bit more like, oh, oh, damn. Oh, this person is, they in big trouble right now. They're busted open. Oh, man. Or maybe someone got revenge on somebody after they screwed them over and ended up, you know, causing them to bleed. Like it, it makes sense. It enhances the feud. And I get what he's saying. Like it shouldn't only be for that. But at the same time, I think it should be for those special moments, some those special matches. Because once again, blood and guts, we know what to expect. It's going to be carnage. But you get carnage almost every single week. You get blood and, and destruction damn near every single week on aew television so what would make the crowd go that much more crazy other than let's see how they can top themselves let's see how quick someone can bleed let's see what weapons they use to make each other bleed you know what i'm saying that's what it becomes at that point and it's not as exciting as it is when you know when you don't see someone getting busted open every single week on aew television can you honestly and i'm and this is not too hark on aew and, and try to pick on them but this is the only company i know that is like li religiously right now stay busting themselves open i mean hell if you really want to take it back ecw was a company just like that too granted that was a different time period or whatnot and i mean you expect to get blood there so you could say well the argument there would you know even though they didn't bleed all the time it was a more of a a, a regular occurrence you know, and that was a small niche or whatnot. You know, that wasn't even like a big, you know, that wasn't like a big, you know, conglomerate like WWE. They were more of the smaller niche of people that was rocking with ECW on that level. So they kind of appreciated it. So I don't know. Me personally, I don't think it needs to be needed as much. You know, I, I would love if AEW kind of pulled back on that. So when you have the blood and guts matches or these crazy stipulation matches lined up then it feels a little bit more special when someone ends up bleeding because now it's like uh oh what's gonna happen here but every week if someone is bleeding or <laughs> in, in john mox's case if he can have a match and bleed every time will it be as special and that's what it's all about trying to keep some of the things in wrestling that's always been special trying to keep it just as special as it is now in modern times so i don't know Comment down below, let me know. Do you guys agree with John Moxley's um, way of thinking when it comes to bleeding in, uh, in modern wrestling? Do you agree with how he feels and it should be more of a regular occurrence thing? Or do you feel like it should be, it should happen in, in doses? It shouldn't happen as often. It should happen in certain situations where it feels special. Let me know down below. I want to get your thoughts and opinions on it because this has been always a kind of a, a uh, controversial topic for AEW, John Moxley as a whole, and wrestling as a whole, whether blood should even be involved or is it too much or is it too little. So let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still Yannis Peter, YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See you on the next one. Peace.